glaube, die kann weg. Kann es. Ik kan, hè? Ja, Oké okay, dan. Hallo, wonderful, good afternoon. Ik zie ook good morning, good evening en even good night. Welkom hier op de livestream van het Boomer Institute Aalsmeer Holland. Mijn naam is Carlos Gink. More relaxed, I hope, than the last time, because. Uh, last time? Uh, yeah, last time was my first time. So I know a bit now how it works. And uh, about signs, they give me what to do, and, and, and. So it will work out. No worries, I am. <laughs> um, I'd like to make some uh, arrangement for you today, and I'd like to start, love to start, with uh, a kind of hand-tied bouquet. And you know a bit of my style, at least the ones who know me, uh, material decides. And just, I have a collection of materials, a little bit prepared, and it's just about starting. And uh, I have some extra flowers here. I keep them on water as long as possible. And for the rest, uh, go and start and see how it works, how, how it goes. Adventure. Some grasses, some asparagus, allium, and some calistegia, uh, if I'm well, isn't it? Am I right with this? Kalisteg, mm yeah. -hmm. It's Haagwinde. Yeah, it's a weed growing outside. Some, no one likes it, but I love it. Because it does, it's nice and weird. <laughs> you can do everything with it. I always start with some leaves. At least, it's, if you have something in your hand. It's going to be a bouquet, a bit in groups. So, easy start with a group of uh, leaves. Some color, the hydrangea. I start with the greens because it's nice and stable already from the beginning. If you have round stems with no greens, they're always turning uh, all directions while making it and that's a bit, it's not very handy. So, some greens from the hand and below no leaves because it's going to be messy in the water and you have an extra thick handle while making the bouquet and then uh, even my hands are too small after a while so uh, can be nice already if I have a small budget <laughs> yeah some green some conifer and I think it is a uh, hamasiparis kind <laughs> Some little bugs, yeah, because it's a vertical growing conifer, so use it in a nice and vertical way. It's going to be an all around, so I, once in a while I will turn, but not that much. I'm not so much of a turner. <laughs> I'm not Tina. <laughs> <laughs> It means that, uh, what I like to say is that some, some designers or florists, they do turn the bouquet really a lot. If you start looking at them, you start to become uh, dizzy that much. Not necessary. Just turn only when necessary. Leaves of the hydrangea, I'm going to keep them because I use them. Uh, to support the flower not uh, they're all fresh so you have a chance that they start hanging I hope not of course and then always some extra support security first 
some uh, seeds of the um, uh, the Algeria. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's uh, I call it uh, uh, Nelly seeds because <laughs> she brought it from her house. Angelica, there is a sign for me, which means a question or a hello. Yes, we have some people saying hello. Uh, we have uh, Bear Creek Creations, that is also known as Diane Mimi Mokler. Mimi Mokler. From she has uh, private lessons here. Wonderful. Um, she says, Kao, uh, guten Morgen. So glad good to morning. see you. Missed out on, a, on big hugs this summer. You owe me one. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Hello, Amy. And we have Sanjeev. Hello from Sanjeev Saint from St. Martin. Hello, hello. And we have Shirley. Hi, Kamu. So great to see you. Warm regards from Jakarta. Oh, all the way from Jakarta. <sighs> My dream country. Maybe. <laughs> I haven't been there yet. So who knows? Don't worry, I just continue. Nice steady base of leaves and some funny materials. It's quite messy, eh? it's all open structure, so it's going to be quite uh, messy. But I try to make it or give it a bit more tranquility by using closed structures for the like the monster leaves, but also the funny. Uh, San Sofia, and you can guess already the second name, is round, so it almost must be the cylindrica, like cylinder, in a funny way, on top of the asparagus. And just put them on a wire, actually four wires, otherwise it's turning all the way while making the bouquet. Just a bit crisscross in it. Yeah, I put two wires from one side in it, one by one, two wires from the other side, then I bent them down and I taped it so it can never pop off. I hope you know what I mean by that. I hope, I hope. Some snake grass or bamboo grass as well. And uh, equisatum, I was looking for that. Thank you, Jacqueline. So it's my bouquet, so I can do what I want. So I just bend them, kind of break them to have a nice horizontal line to make it a bit wider. Yeah. It starts to become something already. Uh, some small allium. Very nice mini mini allium. We work with only not only with our hands, with all body parts almost. <laughs> allium, nice way. Let them go. Their own almost a bit their own way. Oop. And this kind of bookcase, I said, I mentioned it already before. It's very hard to uh, to put the materi materials exactly there where you like to have them, because they go their own way. Change shape in the bouquet, different than you like to have it. So just let them fly above the rest of the materials. So, <coughs> uh, Tillandsia, also put them on a wire, just with a, with a hot glue, with a glue gun. This is what I've prepared, only, yeah, because I, I like to use them, so I think you can imagine how to put them, how to glue them on a wire. Just put one, two wires in, have a dot of glue, don't burn yourself. And uh, 
easy to use. Opposite of the first group of Monstera leaves, another group. So Spadag is here and Calistegia, the nice Haagwinde over the monster leaves, otherwise they're hidden. Because as I mentioned before, they're all quite open structures, so you need some contrast in it. Even one with the roots. I love it. Why not let it hang? Go from here, above the leaf. It looks that I'm, it might look that I'm very rough with the materials, but I don't hear any material scream, so it must be okay. Don't worry too much. So another group dot of, normally we do it one by one, but I think you like to see a bit more today. It takes, uh, takes some while. Yeah, Angelica. Uh, yes, we have Feli saying hello everyone and uh, so much fun Carol with her big red heart. Ooh, thank you, thank you so much. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. I didn't see your red flag. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of concentrated a bit. It's already warm here. A question from Amy. Hey. Hi, most materials are grouping in this bouquet. Yes, that's correct. Surprise. Yeah. Of course you can do this all mixed, but then through all the messy messy structure material, it's it's going to be a very wild bouquet. And because it is in groups, it gives a bit more uh, tranquility in the in the in the overall at the end it's a little bit uh, more difficult but doesn't matter ah nice light green nice contrast very nice um, amaranthus it's a uh, another kind than you're supposed to know it's much uh, yeah much more like feathers feathery I don't know the exact name of it, but it is at least hanging, that's, that's clear, hanging amaranthus, a very nice one. I see a little wire there. I'm not supposed to see that, so I had something I need to hide. And do it in a tricky way. I hope it works, it does. Because techniques should not be shown. Why it should be hidden. Binding technique can be shown, of course, in a bouquet. And that's this. Uh, the, the binding technique, yeah, in spiral. I'll start more or less uh, parallel. And then afterwards, because you're going to have more horizontal lines or groups, then of course, automatic, you start turning into a spiral. Binding it spiral wise. A nice cloud of Gypsophila. You might think, what a weird combination. Yeah, it is. But as I mentioned before, it's my bouquet, my choice. <laughs> I love to say that. Whether you like it or not. I do what I want anyway. Now it's my time. And next time maybe yours. Yeah, probably one of this kind of bouquets can be done. Not similar, or not uh, exactly the same, but similar. Yeah, during the hand tied bouquet courses, in three levels even. Yeah, 
all kind of bouquets. Each course is two days. If it hasn't changed, I don't think so. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, of course we start with level one and then upwards, onwards, upwards, yeah. Level two and three. It's fun. And international, of course. We are an international floral design school. So, of course, international. We speak English and German and Dutch. You know, any language we know individually. And the teaching group wise will be in English, mainly. Some uh, blackberry, beautiful, not black yet. Blackberry. Nice outside, let it show. It's long, so use them long. Don't hide them. That's a pity. So, two together. You see, this is hanging, and this is more in a natural way. Oh, the other one turned. See the difference? This one is really sad and this one is happy. So I'd want this one to be happy as well. Just turn it around and that's the natural way. Yes, there's something to... Uh, Shirley says, thank you Jacqueline and Carol for the invite. Most welcome, anytime. Anytime. Going to cut. <laughs> it's a uh, watch out for your eyes bouquet. It's quite hard now to hold, and uh, I'm going to cut it. Oh, yes, I have some, of course, I forgot while making the bouquet. Some uh, wires of the, uh, ah, this, I don't think I took my best wire cutter. Uh, should be, this one should, to cut with a tip. Ah, it works, one by one then. You have time? <laughs> I do. Good tools, uh, it's very important. Now you know why. Yep. Here's again the wire. Mm -hmm. Another one. Ah. Normally I should hold it up like this in balance, it's easier to cut and you can cut straight. But it's getting quite heavy then, if it takes a while. My equisatum is a little bit wild, not exactly doing what I want. But we'll manage. I'll manage. Why is again? There. Ah, thank you so much. But the wires are cut. But that's for the next. No. Should be tied inside. Then. Normally we should bind it up with uh, some string, but nowadays, of course, it's possible to do it with the Oasis waterproof tape. Much easier. Not nice. Afterwards it should be hidden, of course, but to make a bouquet it's very practical. And to tie it up it's very practical. Normally, you have uh, if you have a, a colleague next to a colleague next to you, you can ask, and can you hold the bouquet or can you tape it around it to make it easier? I do it my way. It should be hidden anyway, so don't worry too much. And uh, so, and then we have a. Uh, don't put it down. It is in balance, but it isn't tied. Uh, uh, this isn't, I didn't tie it up very, very 
tight. Yes. Question from Taiwan. Taiwan is, it, Amy. is it recommended to put wire into the equisetum? Uh, I didn't. Uh, it's your choice. If you want to do something um, uh, special with it, like, like uh, uh, bending it or, or break it, and you, it really has to be, of to, be to stay like this, you can do a wire in it. Uh, it's not really necessary. Uh, itself, it stays. Yeah. If you go walk around a lot with the with the uh, with the hand tied bouquet, better to do so. Yeah. But it's not really necessary. I, di I didn't because I did break it anyway and let it hang in a natural way. And it's still turning a bit. No, maybe you can see it from now. I'm not too high because then you don't see it. And not too low because then... <laughs> yeah, nice amaranthus. The, the telancia is a little bit dancing because of the wires. Uh, the calistegia, monstera, little cloud of gypsophila. And as I, maybe you can see it better than I can because to see it is from a distance is better if it's in balance, but I can feel it's in balance. I like it myself. I hope you do too. And I'm going to hand it over to Ammo. Then I'm going to collect the materials for the next little arrangement. Very little arrangement. Here you are. Thank Mind you. your head because of the light. Because many lights here. On the spotlight, oh, one extra. You can use, make some medication of that one for. I think they use it for medication for kidney and liver thingies, diseases, something like that. Nice to know. The next arrangement. It's going to be very nice and neat. Thank you so much, Mike, also an assistant. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Finishing touches, not to use now, but later on. So, I have some berries here. Just cut them the afternoon from the Jacqueline here, from the school garden. Don't tell her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Some grass, just the tips only. I have uh, a ring out of straw, a wreath, and covered by uh, yeah the green plastic. Uh, yeah, and it's not tape, but uh, plastic band, bloemen band. So, binding wire and some little, very little bundles of. Uh, not the rabbit, but the bunny, bunny tail. I lost the other name, the scientific name, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fun. And nowadays, you see them everywhere because it's high trend, as I have noticed. Not only in shops, but also on um, social media. So, and I saw them here hidden in the corner. I said, I have to use them. Because what am I going to do? I'm going to make a little wreath. The way of binding, how to bind. It's uh, not a problem, but I am left-handed. <laughs> yeah, we are linkshandig, sommige rechtshandig, maar zeker niet onhandig. Uh, I start binding one direction. Because one hand is to lift up the wreath. Another hand to bind the wire, binding the wire from you, not on the other side, on your side. Yeah, you're going to bind it like that. It's the most, uh, most natural way. Because now I have everything under control. I see what I'm doing and uh, I don't have to make strange movements or 
you start binding from there, you're working. Some people do that, don't know why, but they do it. And even when I have to pull that, do it all the way there. It's very hard to bind the wreath like that. And there's one, yes. Question from Taiwan. The wreath is already covered and wrapped in by leaves? The, uh, the, the, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to show it to you. Just open it up for your information. It's a wreath out of straw covered by the plastic band. It's just for the, for the color. My idea, because then uh, you don't see a lot of straw. Just little by little. Little by little. Huh? Little bunny tail, some berries. Find your own system in it, that the materials which you have, that you use it all and everywhere. What's happening? Zeg het maar. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so full, full in my, f uh, sucked into my um, wreath that I forgot, that I forget that you're all there. How could I? Sorry. Every time, little by little. Yeah, make your own thingy there. Time taking. That's for sure. But just give me uh, one more minute. Most of the time I do twice the wire around it and then I pull a little bit. If you pull every time, it's almost no use. So, thingies, berry, ah, some grass. And I just do little by little. Now you can do the whole ring and then bind it. But uh, that's everyone's style. So this is mine. So every time I can just relax collect some materials, uh, small ones on the inside, because the inner circle is smaller than the outside. Here's if difference in size, bigger one outside, smaller one on the inside, only if. You don't have to measure, just by the eye. There is again. And, uh, Angelica, yes. Yes, question from Amo. Are you tying the materials in any specific order or is it just mixed? Just mixed. Simply just mixed. What pops up, you can see it a little bit. In the beginning you can't see it, but now you see it's a little bit pressed. But now you can see that the grass is actually covering the wreath and then you have berries. Rodante, it is very old fashioned. In my beginning period it's a uh, I used it a lot, thousands of these little bundles are made. But as you see, it's nice mixed. Really. Can you see it already a bit, that it's starting to get nice and mixed? And this is what you can do all the way around. You want to see that? You want that you have time? Well, I have only an hour today. <laughs> Last time, uh, uh, my first time as well, only an hour, but it turned into two hours, 18 minutes uh, or something like that. So I'll stop with this because you believe me when you see this, you can imagine that it's all around. Thank you. Yeah. Clean it because you know it's a cooking program. I had something in the oven already, <laughs> a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit tough. 
there it is. It's a little bit the same material, some extra and a lot more and a bigger size. Yeah. Because now you see, uh, if it's small, you can see it from, from nearby, but now it, it's better to, to see. The back side I even covered, uh, maybe not everywhere, yeah, I can show it to you. Almost covered as well, with all the mixed grasses. It's an all-around ring, yeah, like life, turning and turning and turning. It's a bit in a, it, there's a kind of a movement in it, if you can see well. Ah, funny. The grass is, uh, I cut them this afternoon, it's already shrinking, but I, I don't really mind, because it's very natural way, the materials. And now even the materials, the, the, the fluffy thingies and the rodante underneath are showing up more because th before they were kind of hiding. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but not, not done yet. Uh, I can get some space. So, I don't need this anymore. Blackberries. So, because I made another one. I really did my best for you. Uh, another one. A little bit bigger, even. Yeah. Well. Uh, so. There it is. A little size bigger. Also with some uh, kind of rotation in it. Uh, yes, question about the wreath. Um, so these materials don't need much <laughs> water. <laughs> Sorry, I was just joking. <laughs> question about the wreath. Um, so these materials you use don't need much water? No, it's, uh, it's kind of, yeah, actually all materials can stay dry. Again, from the, 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 the bunny tail and the rodanta, we can make all very small bundles. It can't hang because it is in bundles. The grass will become dry in a natural way and the, the green grasses will shrink. The rest will stay. Don't worry about it too much on purpose. I did that because then no use of oasis and so. Uh, you can keep it until next year if you want. It's a little bit brownish and dull, but if you never throw it, you can keep it for years. Yeah. Uh, Diane says, Carol, I love this. I will be, I will be making this similar. With uh, a possible any kind of material, which is quite, which can be, uh, easily dry, you can make it. If it weak materials, just put it in little bundles. It's a little bit stronger. It doesn't have to be this size. If you go smaller, the bundles are smaller. All right. Um, two wreaths, but it's, it's going to be a combination between wreaths, a wreath combi. So I start with this one, with the rotation you've noticed. Huh? It's like a very fast showing uh, shape. By the way, I've made this one on the waterfront on Wednesday. Unbelievable that it stayed this strong. This I cut in the afternoon and they're shrinking already. Hmm, but I've made it in the sun even, but I used the uh, Flora Life, the finishing touch with it. It really works, not only on Wednesday, every day I sprayed it just a lot on top of it. It works with all kinds of flowers, whatever you do afterwards when finished or even in between, use the finishing touch. Perfect. Um, it's going to be in a an, total arrangement. Thank you, Alan. Yeah, I make a combination because a single one is nice already and a mixed one is nice already. We can also make a combination. And it's a little bit of technique. It's always nice to know how to uh, fix something tight and strong. And use some oasis to have afterwards some flowers in it. Just pop it where any, anywhere you want. 
it's going to be in a little bit in an angle needs to be tight and strong and therefore and this one was best I guess for the bamboo sticks to fix it and this is the technique I like to show you nothing very simple nothing very difficult I mean <coughs> it's life eh? <laughs> no, very tight everything you make should be nice and tight shouldn't fall apart. Maybe nice, you single wreaths are nice, but the combination also. What to do with it, where to put it? That's going to be for sure a question. <laughs> well, uh, you can put it on, on, on buffet tables, in hotels, or on, on a big terrace table at home. So, uh, as long as it is tight and strong. Need a bit of muscles. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more difficult than I thought. I thought I'd just pop it in and that's it, but yeah. So, uh, technique, yes. huh? Sindhu says, wow, so nice, Carol. And we have a question about uh, what kind of foam are you using? Ah, the floral foam. It's the Oasis. It's the new one, quite new. Uh, bio, bio, eh? Oasis, uh, Smith's Oasis Bio, biodegradable. Yeah, and uh, you have the Ideal is uh, the green one in very small pieces. It is kind of biodegradable, but this one is even better and better. And even better than before, because now it's around 80 something, excuse me? 91, 91 already, 91% 91 biodegradable. Before 80 something, but uh, I hope I can get this through to fix this one on the other one. Because if you do something, then do it good. Or don't. If you do something, make sure it's nice and tight, that it can't fall apart. If you make this direct at the spot, you can, for, uh, for example, in a hotel, you can bring it in like a puzzle and just put it down. They're not going to run away with it. But if, make sure it's tight. Cut it below, you don't see the sticks, it is already tied. Actually, I was supposed to put a stick here as well, but this one is very thick, so just believe me, normally I would put a stick in there. See, now it's a bit in an angle, especially for you, you can see better. Should I put it up a bit more? Put something underneath, or can you can you follow it <laughs> this way? Ah, yeah, you can. I can hardly see myself because there's everything in front. And because oh, uh, you've seen the chicken wire around the oasis. That's just for extra hold. And uh, you can also. Next to the chicken wire, you can use just a very thin plastic garbage bag, the milky white one. It's easy to put even stems through. Uh, it avoids evaporation a bit more. If you have uh, really fresh flowers, but in this case, it's not. It's going to be quite messy now, so I do it without. No problem. It's very nice in the weekend on my balcony. <coughs> it's almost finished, so it deserves a nice arrangement on my table. I shall show it to you on the picture on Facebook. <laughs> Just kidding. 
the screen. Of course, need to check from the inside. I'm not covering the inside, it's just only for the oasis to keep the depth. Yeah, not covering because now it's all the way open. And all of a sudden it's I'm, I'm thinking it's very nice as a as a um, decoration to put in for a special event or so to book it in some such a something uh, a big magnum bottle of champagne in it. Uh, make it nicer than it is already in your mind. Yeah. You can use it for everything. Yeah, I'll put something inside at the entrance. After the rain, you can put your umbrella in it. I don't know why that pops up, but <laughs> anything you can think of, you can use this for. So, I even... I can't see it even myself, but I think just by feeling that the oasis is covered all the way, the hole is still open from the inside. Once again, I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, good. It's moving fast, eh? Optical. <laughs> yeah. Diane says, yes, it would be lovely on your patio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come to visit and have a wine with me. <laughs> Enjoy the view. Some beautiful, they're huge by the way, isn't it? Normally they're much smaller, at least when this uh, 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 curcuma. Yeah, very nice flower. Just let me check where is the oasis. And I'm not going the opposite way, I go in the same direction as the movement, which is there already. Not all the way around, just as a touch. And how do you put them in? Just deep, you notice that. And I'm not trying to find a little bit spot all in between the leaves. No, this is the practical part. Don't make it yourself too much difficult. Uh, just put it right through the monster. Or I can make my own story. I used monster because it has already holes. So I put them through, not to damage them, but no, no, you don't see it. So. <laughs> see, it gives more an accent to this movement. Yes. Sanjeev says, wow, looks great already. Already. So, it does. I really like it very much myself because it's very, very natural way. Thank you, Sanjeev, for this very nice compliment. And my very best regards course to your lovely wife Lisa and your daughter Anamika. Are they watching too? I don't think so. Sitting inside the car because of the Wi-Fi. I have some information about some viewers, not all. Sneak inside information. But very glad you're watching again. This is my second time doing this live stream for the Burma Institute. And hopefully there will be a third. And next, someone else's turn, maybe Mike, Jacqueline, maybe even. Sorry? Actually, well, uh, this is kind of a design which can be made, not the same, but similar in this way for the, uh, the international event course and which was planned actually uh, this year in, when was it, in June, uh, uh, done by B Bill and Chris, 
Bill and Chris. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, the goal situation has been cancelled a lot. So also, unfortunately, our courses. But there will be. It's all. We have to renew all the agenda. You will know as soon as possible. Yeah, Mike. Actually, uh, we've moved it to October for now. And oh. we hope that it's going to be able to work out. So we're, we're postponing it indefinitely. And also, you said, like, ah, who's going next time? Actually, yeah. maybe, yeah, because in two weeks, that will be the last live stream we do uh, before the summer break. So we thought it might be fun to do all three of us. And then we make all one. All right. And then very special. All right. More special than we all did before. That's a wonderful idea, isn't it? So, should be there again. Now, here we are. I'm just going to put one. I hope, I hope I can reach, yes, yes, yes. To kind of have a connection with the inside. I think even two will be better. My last, I love to use all. Don't like leftovers. So, now I have a connection outside, inside. Very well done. And then the another, wow. This is what I love a lot. Some beautiful, sorry, Jacqueline, I took it from the garden. Your garden, school garden. So it's our garden. <laughs> so I can, I can. No, but I know where to cut from and how to cut from the Backside, no one is sees. So, find the oasis. Deep. Not pressing the curcuma. I can do two things. I can fix it. Very stiff. I just leave it the way it is. And then, Jack, uh, Angelica. Yes, Diane says, my goodness, wouldn't this be lovely in Hawaii? And Carol, you're doing a beautiful job. And she will bring the wine next year. All right. Uh, in Hawaii, you will bring the wine where? To Hawaii? <laughs> to Hawaii or? Hmm? And the connection inside, outside, also with the Blackberry. Very, very nice. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I have the feeling about what I'm doing. Because I make it myself uh, on this one underneath within the same rotation. Even kijk, had ik nog meer gepland? Was there more planned in it? Not really. Just one more. Oh, lovely. Lovely. A little bit same style, same way. I want it like this, so I need to turn it a bit. Yeah, there it is. Blackberries. I really love this myself very, very much. Hardly any flowers in it. Not that I hate flowers. Oh, see, all with little bundles. Just wanted to show you. <laughs> I did it this, the same way, binding around uh, the reef. Going to hold it up for you. Not that this one is falling down and might hit something. Because for, uh, for from from tonight or so, it's have very close up pictures and from all directions. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Uh, Amy says, this is an amazing work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, I love it, I love it. Then already number three. Am I going too fast, by the way? No, right on time? Okay. <laughs> I don't have any clue and no, no idea at all of, of time and things like that. My delight, that will be okay. Yeah. 
Just a sec, I'll be right back. <laughs> so. Where is my uh, paper? Here is my little paper. So. Clean a bit. Uh, don't worry, it's only wool. It's just the base. I can s throw it. I can throw with it. I mean, it's very tight and strong together. This is just loose on top, not to forgotten to be forgotten to put it in. Thank you well. Yeah, Angelica. Uh, so about the previous work, um, oh, yeah. Frida says really beautiful, Carol. Uh, Shirley says, beautiful, love it, love it, love it, and bravissimo, Carol. Bravissimo. And M. Decker uh, just signed in and says, uh, oh. what a blessing, such a creative mind. Oh, thank you so much. I'm almost going to heaven. I feel in heaven now, but already uh, also because of the possibility I have to do it here for you makes me very happy already and it, it creativity just starts to grow more and more for you especially for you because I really love it here I just continue eh? a bit of explanation about the base it's just a stand covered it with wool not in a nice way just a bit a bit done 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 I'm gonna call it the Japanese way used uh, three kinds of different uh, wires, which is, of course, very... Where did I leave it? Where are my drawers? Ah, here. <laughs> hidden behind, hidden behind the, uh, the flowers. Some aluminium wire, uh, 2.0 millimeters, some binding wire, 0 0.30 millimeters, zigzag, zigzag wire or bullion wire, bouillon like the soup and another kind of wire which I have not which I have finished inside yeah. this idea came up because I was teaching yesterday the advanced course one of the last last lessons it was a teardrop teardrop out of these wires everyone always loves loves it uh, there's one there, you can see it. Maybe I can take one off if it's not too... Ah, it's easy. Hmm, this is... Uh, you can see it good like this, I guess. It's... Uh, um, there's a certain technique to, to, to get this um, uh, teardrop shape. This will be all explained to you when you come to the course. can even be a bridal course. Not the same, but similar style. Uh, all kind of wires, uh, again a kind of a rotation in it and afterwards glued with just simple some colonopsis orchids and some, uh, some ripsalis from uh, my f one of my favorite companies, the Arendshoeve. I'm not such a commercial person, but Arendshoeve, I can name it to you. Eh? Very, very nice. Uh, takes time to hang it. Oh. Very nice. So that's why this idea popped up. And uh, because everyone always likes to use the uh, glass tubes or the, the, the glass, uh, look like glass, the plastic tubes, but I like to use these uh, colored. What's this color called? Salmon, maybe? Old pinkish color? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, some, something like that. And again, yeah, so there we are. First, again, the Calistegia. It's, it's a kind of a weed just growing outside. And with the, with the wide uh, bells of flowers on it. Just let it go. Do it like that. No system. <laughs> just like that and just like that. Material decides. 
There it is. Otherwise, the wire is until here and no more. So you have to make a connection. Nice finishing in some way. And because I use quite a lot of these tubes, you want to see they're nice, but not that nice that you want to see it that much. Yes. Uh, Diane says, yeah. Caro, I only bought that tool because you showed me how to use it. I enjoy having it. The the tubes? Ah, uh, uh, that thingy, the, the sucker tracker, the wire twister. Yeah, that's a wonderful tool. I haven't used it now, but maybe a good idea for the next time to show it to you, to all of you what it's like. There's one little damaged leaf. So, make some connection again. Just a little bit asymmetrical. So, oh, wonderful Ripsalis. They start even blooming. Very little white and pinkish flowers. Why am I cutting it? <laughs> I don't, I just put it dry, but I'm cutting it. You see, I'm so used to it. Always a hand in my uh, knife in my hand. <laughs> a hand in my knife, no, a knife in my hand. So, because it can stay dry in a very nice way. So this is, this is a little bit of uh, asymmetrical touch. A little bit up. Oh, that can happen. And use it anyway. So you don't have to glue it because it's very deep inside. Normally, it should all be nice and tight in it. No. See, star stars already. For what you can use this? Any idea? Any idea? Well, table arrangement. Uh, for example, table arrangement, dining table, uh, buffet table. Okay, this is only... Uh, 64 and a half centimeter long you can make it also 20 meters long you need a bit more wire and time so just put Ali in not exactly the same a little bit dancing in the in the base I don't know how many I have maybe in every tube it's funny yeah, Angelica. A uh, question from Shirley. Is sure. there flower foam underneath the wires? Uh, no, nothing. And maybe it's a light, but you can, I can't see it myself because it is um, uh, empty inside. It's just a ring out of wires. Optical ring is on the outside. The inside is hollow. How have I done it? The one we made for the teardrop is made in it with a special technique, and this is done with a very simple technique. Should I explain that to you? Um, okay. Uh, I just took a, a drain drainage pipe, rain, rain drainage pipe, the gray one. Put all the wires around it. Yeah, left and right and left again and right again and up if you hold it like this up and down. Yeah. Many, many, many times. Different strengths and different uh, colors mixed. Don't start too tight. That's my only advice. Because every time you go around the wires you did before, it's going to be tighter and tighter. So if you do it start too tight, you really can't get it off of its drain pipe anymore. That's my biggest advice doing this. If you want it very small, you take a stick of a broom. Yeah, you can imagine. If you want a size in between, find something of that size. Maybe a bottle. No, no another one. Again, just for the nice, bright, dark, yeah, bright, dark color, 
I just took three only, Jacqueline, don't worry. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for the color, and again, the very trendy, these are colored, don't need water, but I'm going to put them in the, in the tubes anyway. These tubes we have available, actually, like all the other materials, like the wires, the binding wire, spool wire, zigzag and aluminium wire we have uh, available at uh, in our shop and how to reach our shop just pop in we're almost always there if not you can use their computer by the address of Bloemschikken uh, Florida Florida yeah in English yeah 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 Florida Design Supplies dot or co oh, yeah, I see, I was right. That's what made me kind of. So, floraldesignsupplies.com. Or give us a call or an email. I prefer to pop in. But it's a bit difficult when you're far. You're far, but still near, don't worry. You're always in our hearts here. So, ah. Oh. No, it doesn't smell that much. See how nice it's going to be already? And we thought, because this, this salmon color, old pinkish color, tubes, really too much, it's taking too much of the, of taking too much, of catching the eye too much. No, no. It's getting less and less. As I said, there's a table as a decoration, possible, buffet, entrance, anywhere nice to make you can go higher if you want but i have restrictions here because of the camera like last time so. and if it's on the table arrangement then go don't go too high yeah because people need <laughs> to see each other whoa but laya but laya davidi really deep purple color of flower wonderful attracts a lot of uh, butterflies even madame uh, and uh, bees everyone should have one in the garden this is uh, little buds become thirsty another one Uh, allium is enough for only one. But very little bit of Rodante, the one we used before as little bundles in the in the wreath. You hardly see it fresh, only as a dry flower. It looks very fragile, but it's not. Yeah, it's really. It's really fragile, but it's quite a strong one. But make sure, if you put them fresh on water, absolutely clean water. No leaves in the water, because in no time it's going to be a... Uh, you don't, you don't, don't need to know in details. You don't want that smell. <laughs> so. Instead of... Yeah, very nice spray rose from the garden. From the garden. Now and so on and so on. I still have time, don't I? Just scream if not that. <laughs> I'm still having fun here and I hope you all the watchers the friends, former students, students in future, hopefully as well. I hope you have joy and fun as well. A nice spray rose from the garden. That normal, it's natural. 
a little bit crisscross because the materials do tell you, you know, like that, not so stiff. Just let it, let it go. Go with the flow. No. Oh. I think it's, have I done all the tubes from that side? Because I'm standing on this side. Not that this is front. No, it's an all-round arrangement. But it looks all around from that side as well. I'm looking just with a half an eye to to an ex another expert, Mike Gabra. No, stick to summer flowers. Uh, little, uh, two more little grasses and a berry. Of course, the tubes are filled with water. With water. Water. Pani. Uh, some more of these little thingies. Yeah. I don't know this one. It looks like Finnish saponaria, but I don't think it is. Mm, you know saponaria, but this these are bigger. It looks almost the same. You know saponaria? It's a gypsophila, field gypsophila, summer gypsophila, they call it as well. Used it so much in the past, in my beginning period. The flower shops, flower shop in my hometown, Enschede, in Holland. Summer flowers, only summer flowers, wonderful. Maybe he's watching as well, my old, uh, my old boss. Nah, not a boss, he was a f good friend as well. Tom, who knows? I don't know. Maybe only you are watching. And who are you? I don't know. <laughs> who all you are? <laughs> so I think that's about it on flowers. Uh, let me have a look. Mm. And uh, where were they gebleven? Ah, yeah. You might think it's nice and cozy with the candle. I love it. Always candles at home. But also because it's nice and cozy. But also to wax some. Some little orchid flowers, phalaenopsis. Just if you want to use them, glue them in. Uh, you don't need to put them in uh, oasis or so. You can glue them, but then take it from the plant, then direct the end of the stem, yeah, the fragile flower, not the flower, stem only. Just pop into the box. Then after that, don't touch it anymore. So it's closed. Uh, it can't evaporate anymore, so it stays a very long time. Better the better the um, flowers from uh, direct from water from the plant. They don't last that long, but if you keep them, cut them and put them on water, or buy them as a cut flower, you can. Uh, they stay really for days. And the wonders, whoa, the big ones, yeah, the nice ones, even for weeks they can stay. Uh, because it is now a bit easy and not, it's standing, I glue them in a horizontal position. Yeah, I just put a very little bit of glue and I can put them direct on top, <laughs> on top of the, um, <coughs> on top of the the base out of wires because uh, they can't fall off so we have still time to um, to to for the glue to become dry and hard that the glue does it work what is it yeah. 
So on the inside. I concentrate the orchids now only for you, especially for you, for all of you, on that side. Because I know about my side how it's going to look like with the orchids. And you can position them all in with the all but in the same yeah, you can put them all but in the same position, that's what I meant, but now because it's all a little bit crisscross, doesn't matter too much. Now a little bit hiding the I always want to say glass tubes, but it's so in it, in the head. It's plastic, but uh, you know what I mean. The tubes. Yeah. Can't really see what I'm, not really 100% see what I'm doing. If you have very fragile materials and big fingers, like maybe like mine, for example, the, the teardrop we're making. You can also use, this is especially for you, you can see what I mean. Uh, what's something else? Some pin set. Tweezers. 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 You know, this, this, this thingy. <laughs> yeah, for the eyebrows. Uh, it's maybe as well, event. it can be a very nice and handy tool as well this fragile work. Is it kind of divided on your side? If not exactly, it doesn't matter. Uh, one here in the depth. You will see it on the picture more close. And glue gun. I just need to, after, after using the oasis, eh? floral adhesive, it means cold glue, just make sure you close it very well. Um, what had I now nog meer? Tilantia. Where has it, oh here. <laughs> so, some Tilantias, you might think, yeah, well, it's a pity, it's a pity to, to put, uh, all that material, you're covering the nice flowers. Well, that's a personal thing. It's, po it's a possibility, it's not a must. You just have to step from here, a little bit inside. Uh, I hope it touches the wires, then it's it will become hard and uh, course, uh, always when you use something, it's finished, like the stapler. Yeah, if you use, you want to use your stapler, finally, staples are finished. <laughs> it's always the same. I had it, I had it uh, around. It's also a little bit hint to, uh, to ammo. <laughs> Maybe, and just press for one, thank you. <laughs> You can recognize that problem very well, huh? Or like uh, cello tape, same, same thing. You want to use the cello tape and then finished. Yeah. Let the let the glue gun do its the do its work. Don't press it. And I prefer. I can still. Yeah. If you use a glue gun and it doesn't work, don't start squeezing it like crazy, because eh? you damage your glue gun. That's a pity. Just wait until it's really hot and easily melts the glue sticks. You know what? It's my arrangement. I've made it so I know it's going to be very... Uh, uh, tied all everything, so I just put without glue then, so in between, as long as it's safe. We're not run running around with it, so it is possible. Then, I 
I love this style of uh, arrangements very much because it's quite uh, nice and fluffy and easy. The arrangement itself is already nice. Uh, the, the wires you can even use it, so make some what you used, make some nice display on it. See, also during the course you can make, you can buy them ready made, but you can also make them yourself, your little nice, very transparent hearts. But that I'm going to show you maybe next time or during the course. Make some nice display, everything pinkish. Why not? This arrangement itself is nice, but if you have some stuff around, or you want to do something extra, something special, without any high costs, yeah, so I can make this simply display. It's like a, like making a window display, yeah? Window display. And you have a nice connection with the table. Not too much yet. We can add some more. Why not? Uh, make it more nice and cozy. I still have time. Could have done this before. But normally this one is four hours. No, I'm, don't make it four hours. But it could have been four hours. Then I had to find new uh, uh, candle cups or tea lights. Candles there. So, don't have to think. Some nice uh, Holstein Gavada. This I used, uh, this I did in advance. Huh? This I did just to show you how easy it is to make from something simple grouping. So, put it all together again. Hello there, the grass. Uh, here came this nice smell from Lillian. If you want to have it up, you put it up. So, glad it's not a glass vase like last time. <laughs> it's, only, uh, it's only an apple. Yeah, so, no, I'm not crossing the ripsalis that much. So. And just put it here and there. Can't see from fr even not from front. You're not hiding anything. You cre just create more depth. Simple materials. You make it nice and big. Uh, can you still see it? Uh, okay. One more. One nice bufaria. And from pink, I start using all of a sudden uh, uh, the. Curcuma, all of a sudden yellowish as well, because I only because it matches my shirt. My shirt <laughs> hiding again. This is about it, I think. If you have any new comments or uh, questions, or I don't think so. Otherwise, you would have tried to catch my attention. <laughs> oh, then wonderful. And I think I've done it a bit on time this time. Did I? Didn't I? For sure. For sure. Well, that's nice to hear. It's always difficult because I want you really in your element creating something. Uh, you forget about time. Not everything, but mostly about time. Then, this was my second uh, uh, live stream. A bit more relaxed, I think, than uh, my first time. And uh, I can use to this. So next time, uh, probably the three of us, maybe even more persons, at least Jacqueline, Mike Boema, and myself, Karel, Karel Schenk. I ho really hope you enjoyed it. And let's meet again next time in, uh, yeah, in my place, your place, <laughs> or uh, just at school, of course. And. Uh, Create something together. You have anything there? Yeah? Uh, yes, Amy says, so uh, such a beautiful table arrangement. Thank you, Carol. And then 
and it's Sindhu, such a nice material. Yeah. Uh, Sindhu is giving you a lot of uh, hand claps or a, a, an, a, an applause. Applause, <laughs> applause, applause. Also, applause for you and thank you so much for watching. Really, I appreciate it very much. So, see you the next time. And we all like to say goodbye to you yep. to the next time. Maybe we'll run around all the table if you want. Oh, Jacqueline, she escaped. No. Oh, she's there. I, don't, I saw. I, said, <laughs> I thought she was in the kitchen, but it was. That's a, it's the mirror of the bar. <laughs> oh, ready to run then and to say bye bye. So yeah. next time we have a very special surprise in two weeks. So please uh, tune in and put it in your agenda. If you haven't subscribed yet, please press the subscribe button because you will be attended when you come online next time. And uh, also, if you enjoyed it, please give us a like on the video. It will help us out a lot. So thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, so please subscribe. That's what I was ma had to say. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, doei. For all of you, take good care, stay healthy, bye bye. bye. <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> oh. Nog een keer. <laughs> Axel, for the ones who don't know, our office boy. <laughs> And once again, because we love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you, thank you.